Hey, what's up, YouTube? So we have the integral of x times the sine cubed of x. So if it was like x sine x, we could use tabular or parts. If it was like x times sine squared, we can use an identity uh, to, to reduce it to something um, a little bit easier. But it's x cubed, so what do we do? Um, I'm thinking we can try integration by parts and see if it works. Recall the integration by parts formula says if you have the integral of u dv, that's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So in this case, we just have to pick our u and our dv. So if you let u be sine cubed, then when you take the derivative, you have to use the uh, chain rule. And that's kind of messy. Let's try to let u be equal to x, and then dv equal to sine cubed x dx. Usually a general rule for integration by parts is when you pick your u, the derivative of u should be a simpler function. So if you let u be x, its derivative is just 1, so it's simpler. But if you let u be sine cubed, its derivative is a mess because you have to use the chain rule. So here du is equal to dx. And now we actually have to work out v. Okay, so I'm going to go to the side and work out v. So v is going to be the integral of sine cubed of x dx. So it's an odd power of sine. So what you can do is you can save a sine and then convert the rest to cosines using identities. So whenever you have an odd power of sine or cosine, you can save a copy of that power, save a copy, and then convert the rest to the other one. So like if you have cosine cubed, you save a cosine. We have sine cubed, we save a sine. It only works with odd powers. So now we can write this in terms of cosine. Um, that's going to be 1 minus cosine squared x sine x dx. Remember, sine squared is 1 minus the other 1 squared, so it's 1 minus cosine squared. Likewise, cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. Now we'll let u be cosine. So I'm not going to use u again. I'll use w. So w is cosine. So dw is going to be negative sine x dx. So negative dw uh, is sine x dx. So sine x dx becomes a negative dw. So it's going to be negative 1 minus u squared du w w squared dw. Right, it's, it's w, it's not u. So sine x dx is negative dw. Let's distribute this negative. It's getting so small, so hard to see. w squared minus 1 dw. Integrating this, you get w cubed over 3 minus w plus a constant. So let's go ahead and write it down here. So w was cosine, so this is cosine cubed of x. It's a lot of work for v. <laughs> minus cosine x, right? So I'm going to put this in parentheses. Wow. All right, let's use the parts formula, and I really hope this works. Um, I have not done this problem before, so let's try it. So we have, I'm going to write it over here, the integral, moment of truth, x sine cubed x dx. So that's equal to uv, so it's this times this. So I'm just going to write it like x, and I won't even, I won't distribute it. I'll leave it like this. Cosine cubed x over 3 minus cosine x minus the integral of v du. So du is just dx, so we just have to integrate this thing here. So this is going to be the integral of, uh, I'm going to write it like this, uh, 1 third cosine cubed x dx, and then it's minus cosine x integral dx. I just went ahead and broke it up. Why did I do that? I have no idea. I could have written it like this. Uh, so without skipping steps, this is what's going on. Cosine cubed over 3 minus cosine x dx. So I just went ahead and, and um, broke it up into two integrals. That's what I did here. All right, I think we can do this. Uh, yeah, we got this. We should be able to finish. Good. So this worked. Integration by parts works in this problem. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the x here. It's bothering me. It's, it's 1 third x cosine cubed x minus x cosine x. And let's, let's do this integral on the side. This is 1 third cosine cubed. 
So that's just like the one we did earlier. It's just like sine cubed, right? Same deal. So I'll do it over here in a different color. So if we have one third cosine cubed, we can write it. We'll save a cosine. We can write it as cosine squared cosine x, right? Save a copy of cosine. Convert the rest to sines. So it's one third, and then it's one minus sine squared cosine x dx. And just like before, we have to make a substitution. So I'll use a different letter. Let's let t be equal to sine x. So dt is cosine x dx. What a problem. So hardcore. This is one third integral sine, one minus t squared dt. Then we just integrate each piece. So the one becomes a t, so it's one third t. This one, you use the power rule, you add one. So it's going to be t cubed over 3, right? But there's a 1 third here, so it's going to become minus 1 ninth t cubed plus a c, which I won't write yet. But we know what t is. t is sine x. Okay, so now we're just going to plug in sine x here, but I'll do it over here. So minus parentheses, always, I'll keep my parentheses here, one or bracket, 1 third t, t was sine x. Okay, minus, and then um, one ninth t cubed, so sine cubed x. Wow. And now we have to integrate cosine. Well, that just gives us uh, sine, right? Because the derivative of sine is cosine. So minus sine x. And I'll put a bracket here, and I'll put a plus c on the outside. Wow, tough problem. Very, very tough stuff. Uh, this is equal to one third x cosine cubed x minus x cosine x. Um, let's see what's going on here with these signs. Looks like we have like terms. One third sine x minus three thirds sine x, right? Because it's minus one sine x. Think of it as three thirds. That's going to give us a negative two thirds sine x, right? So then you distribute the negative, it'll become a positive. So plus two thirds sine x, right? Because it's one third minus three thirds, which is negative two thirds. But you have the negative here, so it's two thirds. Okay, good stuff. I don't want to mess up. <laughs> minus one ninth sine cubed x plus c. We did it. We did it. We integrated this beast. Um, x times sine cubed of x. Almost eight minutes. Uh, wow. So I hope this video has helped someone out there uh, who is working on their integration skills. That's it.